One of the reasons that I feel so passionate about the Highlights Foundation and this retreat center is that two of my books are directly attributable to the time that I've spent here. It's a very nurturing environment and my first time on campus was in 2017. I got a scholarship to attend the Novel and Verse Workshop with Alma Fullerton and Kathy Erskine and special guest Padma Vigatraman as faculty. What an amazing experience. I didn't have a novel and verse ready to go at that time, but I knew that I wanted to write one. So I brought a picture book manuscript with me and that is Pow Wow Day. Right after that workshop, based on the feedback I received from faculty and others, I sold that book a month later. At that same workshop, I met the uber-talented poet Charles Waters, and we talked about how we wanted to work on something together. Fast forward to early 2019, and he reaches out to me and says, I've got an idea for a novel in verse. What do you think? So Charles and I crafted Mascot, the novel in verse that addresses the issue of using Native people and imagery as mascots, a group of eighth graders at a suburban Washington DC middle school are starting to address this issue and what it means for them and their peers who are impacted by this issue in the larger community. That book would not be happening without highlights. And so again, it's a place where you can come and attend a workshop and learn more about craft, but you could also have time to just write and feel the creative muse in a very supportive environment. They provide three meals a day, which are wonderful farm to table meals. You have your own cabin, your own bathroom, your own space to just be. And that is what I want for all native artists and writers to, to feel welcome, right? We are on the traditional homelands of the Lenape or in English, the Delaware nation. And I wanted a space where when you walk in, Native people feel welcomed in a space that is um, part of theirs. And one of the books that's on the shelf over here, When the Shad Bush Blooms, is about the Lenape people who, again, have um, traditionally, this is their homelands and where some still live. And so um, grateful to Lee and Lowe Books for, for publishing that book by Carla Messenger and, and being able to share that with anyone who stays in this cabin. And we look forward, like I say, to continually growing the number of books that are available here. We look forward to welcoming you into this space and for whatever you'll create and share with the world and young readers. Wado, thank you.